Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So we're doing the interlace bangle today. So I, this is this has been so much fun. I couldn't wait to share this with you. I, I, I've just had a blast making these and they're so fast, believe it or not. I mean, it and fun and it's not stressful. So if you still need holiday gifts, here you go. So here they are. Here, I'll pull them off. It's an actual bangle, so you're going to roll it on. So I made this one this one's a little tight. I kind of made different sizes um, just to test out. I think this is eight inches. Um, I think this one's about seven and a half and one is about seven. Um, you just want to make sure when you make it that it's going to fit around. Forget about the wrist. It's got to fit around here. You just have to be able to get it on here so you get it on like that. Um, and these seem to work out well. So we'll look at them real quick. So here's, um, I just finished this one. This is um, made with a, uh, a blue rondelle and I don't know the name of it I just um, it's a two by three rondelle and it's from my local craft store so um, you know I, I I don't have the name it was in my stash so this is a great stash um, uh, bracelet because you can really use um, anything that you have as long as you know the size is right so it's two by three so here it is okay and then I made a um, this one's bicones, so this is two by three rondelles. These are three millimeter bicones and um, love and silver 11 O's, and these are the um, gold or the bronze um, 11 O's. So there's that one. And then here's, I love this red one. So this one I made a little bit different. I twisted it. So you're making this, you're going to make a tube out of it, um, and then you're going to sew the two ends of the tube together. So if you sew them, um, in a twisted manner, you get a twisted bangle. So here it is twisted. So if you want it twisted, you can twist it. You can actually even twist these on your wrist, but this is this is made to be twisted. So here you go. And I was thinking too that um, if you're still looking for a, a necklace for the pendant, um, the bezel your bling pendant, I think this would make a great, a great necklace and it would fit right through that bezel easily. All right, so here it is. So let's get a materials list going. All right, so you're going to need some three millimeter I'm going to do a pearl one. So um, we need either three millimeter pearls, three millimeter um, fire polish, uh, not fire polish, um, three millimeter um, bicones, um, two by three millimeter, and that's this one. These are rondelles. They work beautifully. They really do. Um, you can use, I think you'll probably use two millimeter fire polish. Any uh, Anything that you used for the, the ring um, or the, um, the necklace will work. So I'm going to use some 3mm pearls. These are Swarovski um, Platinum Pearls. You need some 11 seed beads and these are the ones I use a lot of. These are the um, number 457. They're either dark gold or metallic bronze depending on where you buy them. So I need some of those. You're going to need some, I'm using 6 pound fire line. You can, I, these I made with um, wildfire green and not bad. It doesn't show that much. I really prefer the black because it, you just lose the black um, in the, you know, when you look at it. So if you look close, you're going to see the green thread. I don't really like that. At the blue one, you don't see it that much. Um, but the wildfire doesn't come off on your hands like this fire line does. Um, I did um, try a few of the tricks um, that some, um, some of you beaters have uh, left comments on about using the um, fabric softener sheet and works a little bit, not bad. I think it's just because when I film, I have a lot of lotion on my hands and I want my hands to look soft and nice. So that's probably why it comes off of my hands so much. But anyway, six pound fire line. You can use wildfire, any th you know thread you like. I like the six pound for this. Um, I'm using a size 11 beading needle. You can use a 10. Okay, get a little stop bead going, just like that. And um, that's it. I mean, this is, a, this is it, it, you don't need that many materials. And really, it goes pretty fast. All right, so why don't you gather up your materials, and we'll get started making this uh, pretty bangle. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back, and I've um, threaded my needle. Um, use, you know, as much fire line as you feel comfortable um, sewing with. Uh, the more, the better, but um, you can always add thread. A little stop bead on, just long enough tail. I have a small piece on, but you put a you know a bigger piece on. Tailed enough of a tail to sew in, and then you're just going to take four of your 11 o seed beads, just like that. Bring them down to your stop bead, and then come up the first 11 o past your stop bead, just like that. Pull those down, make a little right angle weave unit. 
just like that. Okay, pick up a pearl and four, 11 of seed beads, drop those down, come up the first seed bead after the pearl, just like that. weave unit with the pearl in between. And I'll pull on a teeny bit. Pick up a pearl. Four seed beads. You know, if you did the any of the other interlaced jewelry or the V bling necklace, this is very familiar. If not, I'm just gonna get you started. Okay, come up the first seed bead after the This is what you have. Just like that. Bring your needle down through the side bead of that unit and the bottom bead of that right angle weave unit. Just like that. Pick up three seed beads. You're coming out of here. Come around the bead. Come through the other side. Just like that. Come through the bottom seed bead of the next unit. Pick up three seed beads. Coming out of here. Come around. Make another unit. Pick up a pearl. Sometimes you have to poke through the, the pearl. Um, sometimes there's some material stuck in there, so you have to poke your needle through. Come through the bottom seed bead of the next unit. Just like that. Three seed beads. You're coming out of here. Come around. Just like that. Come through the side bead, be, seed bead of that unit and the bottom seed bead. Add three seed beads. Coming out of here, come around. We're just going to continue doing that. And I'll do just a few rows with you um, just to, um, because I want to show you how to, how to end the piece. seed beads. Just continue doing what we've been doing. Pearl. The bottom seed bead of the next unit. Just like that. Three seed beads. Come down the side and the bottom seed bead. Seed beads. So at this point, um, you know, you know the this is the pattern. So um, you can even just do the ring, you know, do this for a couple of inches or however, you know, whatever fits around your finger, and you can make the ring. Come through. I just want to get to the end of this row so I can show you how to end it to prepare for um, turning it into a bangle. There. seed beads. Coming out of here, go around, come through the side, at the bottom seed bead of that end unit. Okay, so here we go. All right, so let's, um, let's say this is, you've ended your piece, and the way I would measure this piece, um, and this is sort of an approximation, so the, the red bangle is, um, about eight inches long before it become, becomes a bangle. And what I did is I measured, let me pull out a little bit, I measured my, my this part of my, my hand. So uh, my, my, I have about a seven inch, six and a three quarter, seven inch bracelet. You want a bangle a little bigger so it's loose and it flops around, you know, you want that. But it has to fit through the largest part here. 
So for me, that was about eight inches. So, um, you know, I, I, I would say that if you have a size a seven inch wrist, maybe add an inch or an inch and a half to make the bangle. But we're gonna, we're gonna hold it around the wrist so that you get an idea of how, um, how big to make it. So it's, um, you know, it's forgiving though. You really, um, you know, a bangle can be a little bit on the loose side. All right, so here, so let's say you've done your length, and I want you to end this way. I want two pearls at this end, and I want two pearls at this end. I don't want these right angle weave units here. So pick up a pearl. So let's say you're done with your length. Pick up a pearl. Instead of putting a right angle weave unit on here, just pick up a pearl and go through the next, the bottom seed bead of the next unit. Pick up a pearl. Poke through that one. Go through the bottom seed bead of the next unit. And this is how I want you to end. So you have two pearls at either end. All right, so go have fun. It doesn't take long. So uh, really, before you know it, you're going to be done with your length. All right, so go on and meet me back here, and we'll turn this into a bangle. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back, and um, I've got a little length going here, and I decided that I'm going to make a little baby bracelet, just in the interest of time. So get your length um, done, and, you know, when we, after we sew it together, you'll, you know, wrap it around your wrist, and you'll see... Um, you know how your how your fit is. Okay, so this is how we're ending with the two pearls here and the two pearls here. You are I'm going to pull in. I'll try to pull in as tight as I can for this part. So here we put on the two last pearls and we're coming out of that seed bead there. Okay, right here. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to fold it up a little bit, just like that. And you're going to hold it so that the seed beads are here and all your pearls are there and we're going to add pearls okay so you're coming out of this bead and it's a little loose right now but that's okay pick up a pearl okay and come through so you're coming out of here so you're going to add this pearl on come through that seed bead on the other side just like that see what that does let me come out a little bit because I am blurring okay and then come through this seed bead right here. So we're going around the right angle weave unit there. See that seed bead right there? Pull that through. Come up this one. All right, so now you've come around the right angle weave unit. And now all we want to do is attach pearls at this point. So you're coming out of this bead right here. I just You just want to hop over to the other side to that seed bead. Okay, so you're here and you're coming over to this one. It's the seed bead that's under the pearl. And you're just going to pop that pearl into place, just like that. And then you're going to work your way around this unit. So you come out of here, come through here, and come through this one, just like that. Pick up another pearl. You're coming out of this seed bead right here. Just hop over to the next one directly across from it, above the pearl, and put that next pearl on, just like that. Like little pea pods almost. <laughs> so let's make your way through this unit. So go through this bead. And this bead, just above the pearl. Just moving your thread around so you can get another pearl on, just like that. Pick up a pearl. Go across to the next unit, just like that. Okay, so now you're coming out of here, right there. Go through this one, and go through this one. Now you're ready to put another pearl on. So you're just um, going around your units to get a pearl on, back and forth and back and forth. So you're coming out of here down through this one, just like that, to get your next pearl on. And then you're going through this bead, right there, and through this bead. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way to the end. Coming out of here, just hop over to the other side, just like that. So you're sewing it together by adding that pearl on. 
Okay, coming out of here, go through this one, and this one, and you're ready for another pearl. This. And what's nice is that you're reinforcing all your units here too. Go through this one, go through this one and you're ready to put another pearl on. So that's the whole thing. So bring, do that all the way down till you get to the end, and then we'll sew them together. All right, see you in a few. Okay, so we're back, and I switched my, um, my little piece over to a piece with wildfire because I thought maybe you'd see the green thread bait better. So um, it's the same thing. I've just, this is just done with wildfire. So I'm gonna put on the last couple of pearls with you. So we're just, Continuing on with you know um, you know making this into a, a um, bangle by just putting on a pearl coming around the unit. I'm gonna put on our last pearl. Gonna close it up just like that. So there you have it. All right, and I'm just going to advance my needle around just the top beads just to reinforce a little, a little bit. So pearl seed bead, pearl seed bead. We'll do it one more time, come out of the seed bead. Doesn't matter which one, just, you know, one of the top three seed beads there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to make this into a bangle. So I'm going to make it into a, um, I'm going to make all the, the um, beads straight in a row, whereas this one is twisted. So if you want to twist it, take it like this and twist it around um, before you tie it, before you sew it together. So it will stay, have a permanent twist in it, but I'm just going to do it straight. So I'm just going to make sure all my beads are lined up just like that. Okay, and I'm going to try to pull in as tight as I can for this. So make sure all your beads are lined up, and I'm not, so just, okay, now I am. Okay, so they're lined up there, and I'm going to hold them just like this. Actually, I'm going to pull this over this way so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so you want to attach this unit to this unit. So just like the ring, pick up a seed bead. You're coming out of here. Just hop over to the bottom seed bead of the unit on the other side. Come on down, just like that. Pick up another seed bead, 11 -0. Come through. The, bead you, the original bead you were coming out of to make a right angle weave unit. So you're adding those two beads on, see? Just like that. And when I pull, it makes it into a right angle weave unit. Now you want to advance your needle through the purl. You want to get to the next right angle weave unit of seed beads. So through the purl, through the seed bead, just like that. So now I'm at my next two units that I want to attach together. Pick up a seed bead. You're coming out of here. Come through this unit, this bead of that unit right there. Just like that. Pick up a seed bead. Come through our original bead to make a right angle weave unit. See? And then when I pull it, it, it connects that whole line of uh, right angle weave units. Advance through your purl, just like that, and through your next seed bead, which is sort of on the inside of your bangle, just like that. Pick up an 11 -0. You want to attach this unit to this unit. Come through this seed bead, just like that. Eleven O, come through that original bead you were coming out of, right there. Pull, and now you're all connected. All three 
rows of right angle weave units, weave, weave units are connected. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my thread around by coming through the purl and the seed bead. You can get them both. So I want to, I want to reinforce a little bit here. Okay, here, like that. Come through the purl. And if you find your units are a little um, loose, like this one's a little loose right here, I'm just going to come through the seed bead and I'm going to reinforce that unit. I'm going to come through here, through here, and through here. Now mine are a little loose because I'm keep, I was keeping them loose for you to see it, but yours won't be. You'll tighten this and pull. And then I'm going to go through here. So then go around um, your beads. Now this is getting pretty tight, so I would just continue through the purl, then I'd reinforce another unit, and through the purl and reinforce another unit, and then you'll have this. You have your little bangle. Cute, huh? Alright, so why don't we just look at all our bangles. Alright, so here we go. Here I'll pull out. There's our purl baby bangle. Here are our um, grown-up bangles. Okay, so here you have it. There's the um, interlace bangle. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I hope if you live um, where there's snow that you get lots of it if you love snow. I hope we get lots of snow. It'd be fun to make some snowmen. All right, there you go. So enjoy, um, enjoy your holidays, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.